Did you miss me? Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Where are you? And Gigi, the mini golden doodle. That's you. That's you. Today is Sunday, August 29th. And I got a couple of AC service calls lined up this morning. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And make sure, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. We are approaching 20,000 subscribers and it's going to be epic, the giveaway. Epic, epic, epic Milwaukee giveaway. We're gonna be giving away Milwaukee gear, hats, shirts, stickers, version one, two, and three. You know you guys want it, so stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Check us out on Facebook, sorry. Check us out on WhatsApp and on Discord. Links down in the description box down below. All right, my first service call is in Woodmere, which is right down the block from my house. Kind of like a mini Taj Mahal. I don't know, got a couple systems. Daniel was just here on Wednesday when I was in South Carolina there was a power problem the video I posted the other day on Friday showed that us replacing the disconnect for the first floor central air system customer came home Saturday night and the second floor air conditioning system is not working I wonder if it's a recall or it's strictly coincidental we shall see By by things, by howling. What kind of things? Crawling things or like no, like snakes? Any snakes? snakes? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God, no snakes. No. No snakes? No, I think that last night was not hot. I would have died. It was cool. It was 66 degrees last night. I know, but it's the airport is above my head. Literally, I heard every plane that took off. And so, right so the fan inside isn't coming on either? Nothing. Nothing. You check the breakers? Yes, he turned them all off, put them all back on. I turned half of them off and half of them on. She wouldn't let me hit the other half. Let me go to the thermostat. Yeah, but they're all on. They are all on. Let's go see. Let's go see. I told you, you'll just have to plug in something. Probably. I don't care if you have to plug it in, it means you unplugged it. That is correct. Let me see. Let's go see. So right now, I'm leaning towards a fuse, a blown fuse. And since Daniel was here, I just want to check outside to the outdoor unit and make sure everything is uh, intact. All right, first observation. Let me show you guys what I'm working with. This is good quality control for Daniel. So he did maintenance on this unit and that unit, replaced a couple capacitors, acid washed coils, um, but he left the control wire like this. So this, just dangling. And yeah, it's the reason why filter dryer should go, should go inside. But let's take a look at the whip, follow the whip. And there, boom, Daniel, you were here. And you made no reference of this. Look at that, Daniel. Shame on you, Daniel. Shame on you. A good technician is observant of his surroundings. All right, inside this rood, there's your PSC motor, <clears throat> capacitor, fan relay, transformer. Pretty simple. Let's turn the switch on. Let's see if I have voltage there. Yes, I do. Let's see if I have voltage there. Yes, I do. I bet you I don't have voltage. 
with this transformer. Why? Why not? Something shorted out this transformer. Let me get my voltmeter to confirm that. All right. As you can see, I got R and ground. I have nothing, but I had 120 going into it. We have a dead transformer. All right, well, <clears throat> I told the homeowner that, hey, your um, transformer's shot. And he goes, well, I don't know what your guy did, but everything was working fine before. And I'm like, well, you had water pouring on your circuit breaker panel. I said, well, he goes, it was working before. I asked your guy to fix that. And you know, whatever. I'm going to eat this one. You know? So, now, we got a new transformer in here. Is it going to fit there? Maybe it'll fit right here instead. Yeah, I guess it'll fit right there. Right there. Alright. I'm screwing. Right here, hopefully. some wagos here. I got the white. Strip that off a little bit there. Let's stick in this neutral to looks like this fan neutral. Right. And then this is the power bus or that bar. Right there, it's that neutral as well. Let's just clip off the end a little bit. And we'll stick you in there. Okay, there's all my neutrals. Now, I got my black power coming in for L1. Okay, another three wire Wago. These are the Wago 221 levers. This is a three conductor Wago. Now, let's take off this. Also from our power bus. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit too much there. Boom. Okay. We'll stick you in there like that. Okay. And now this is from going to the fan relay. So get power to the fan. Okay. So now it's all situated good there. Okay. Now down below, this is my brown. All the browns go together, just brown as well. So, let's just see what we're gonna do here. Brown, brown, blue. So let's make this blue right here. We're gonna use this five conductor way go. Right, so that's gonna be one. Now this other brown, all these browns. Right, I'm gonna clean these up a little bit. as well. Bingo. This brown. Look at this brown. This brown with the transformers. This one's this one's kaput. We don't need this one anymore. Okay. And this brown. This brown. Where did this brown go? This brown. This brown is a ground. well okay and this brown here went to this looks like it's that okay so this is going to condenser this is C condenser let's stick you in there as well put you in there okay now what they left is the red alright red transformer red goes here so we'll take this yellow all right let's put a two conductor wiggle on this one okay and then there's another red we can get rid of that okay boom 
bring this up through there. All right, stick you in there, just like that. Okay, get you into the red, which is here. Bingo. Okay, we have some extra wires here that we don't need, so we're gonna clip these off and put a wire nut on them. It's a regular wire nut, it's fine here. Boom. Boom. Okay, everything else is copacetic here. Perfect, turn power on. And we have action. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. See that? The question is, couldn't debate him with that, but it is what it is. Hi. All fixed. Where was it? Dead transformer. It sends different types of power throughout the system. It burnt out, so it's replaced. Lesson learned here. Next time you're away, we're not servicing your systems. <laughs> Why? You think it's a little hallway? Well, it, there is, it's coincidental, but you know things die. You had water pouring on your circuit breaker panel. So, but again, you think maybe he caused it, so I'm not, I can't charge you for the part. That's all. It's all good. But, but if you remember. You sent other Mike here to fix the water, and instead of fixing yes, the water, and you had him, you had him replace the pipe. He said that was the problem. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, but that was again. Who problem. would have thought that someone did? Someone pulled out the hose that normally went outside. Right. Like, why did that happen? I don't know, but why didn't he jack? He doesn't do air conditioning. Uh, he didn't know to look at that. Well, he doesn't do air conditioning. It doesn't look like Mike, a plumbing pipe. Do you know who found that out? My internet guy that came to replace my Verizon box. Okay. I noticed it. Okay. No, here's the lesson I learned. No one but you comes in the house. Sounds like a plan. Not your little guy, not the other Mike. No. Give a shit. <laughs> Tell Jenny under my file in big bold letters. Okay. You're right. I, but I'm not installing your I'm not installing your sink, which came in yesterday, by the way. That I'm not doing. Who's doing it? The other Mike. Oh, you're gonna have to That's come and fine. fix it. That's fine. No, other Mike can do stuff. So he can do that kind of stuff. Uh, Why did the air conditioning turn off again? Maybe. You want to check that? All right. So someone touched the thermostat upstairs because it was cold. <laughs> and at the same time that I'm departing, and the AC unit turns off. Anyway, I had to eat that one up, Daniel. But the lesson learned here, in regard, dis, disregard what she was saying, like, we're only going to let you Mikey Pipes into my house. You still got to, I still stand behind my employees. However, um, not a good idea to schedule an, even routine maintenance when the customer wasn't home because now we couldn't really verify what was happening and whatever. It is what it is. But however, Daniel did overlook two things that I pointed out on this service call. One was the whip at the disconnect. And the other was the control wiring, you know, flapping in the wind like that. No good. No bueno, da Daniel. You need to really do a lot of homework. A lot of homework. You know, Rome wasn't built overnight, but you got to learn. You got to learn and, and just continue to, to educate yourself, study, read books, watch videos, all that good stuff. All right. I am now off to Atlantic Beach, a long-term customer calling me for years, probably over a decade, has uh, had a power problem on Friday and the air conditioning didn't turn back on. So she's got some, a uh, couple old wildebeests. And if you guys recall, when Sippy Cup was around, this is the house where Sippy Cup was laying down on the customer's lounge chair next to the pool. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go see what's going on. Good morning. <laughs> What's wrong? Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so we have a Or which floor? For the upstairs. So okay. now we just had it off in the windows open because it's been 
pull out. Okay. Thankfully. Let me grab my tools and we'll. But like, and then it didn't spin. I got it to spin, and then it was like working for like. The outdoor minutes. unit. Yeah. The fan. Yeah. You pushed it. Yeah, and it started, and it started to spin, to spin. <laughs> and then it worked for like 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, cool. And then yeah, no. All right, so the, but the fan inside was was blowing the air. We heard it, but okay. warm. It okay. Wasn't, like, so turn the, turn the thermostat on, and I'll head out. Okay, fine. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, no, no, no worries. All right. Sounds like some kind of capacitor issue. On this little boost. On this wilder beast. Wait for to turn the fan on, see what happens. All right, get the compressor running, the fan's not operational. So. Looks like we're working with that. All right, let's get some tools and see what's going on. And yes, I know. I know, tell me about all the wiring, I agree. And about eight, nine years ago when I replaced this condenser fan motor, this is how I did it. And you know, I've learned better since then. So it is what it is. Let's get them up and running. Right, one of the first things I'm gonna do is see if I can spin the fan motor and see how it spins. Come on. Uh, all right. I'm not getting this in there. I gotta get a little creative. Hmm. Maybe a stick or a twig. Uh, all right, let me take off the access panel. I need my little stubby. Where are you, stubby? in there. They're stubby. <laughs> stubby multi. All right, she's a five. Reading 4.9. We got a dead condenser fan motor. That sucks. Let's take a look at all the oils in there. See that? And she spins, but not that freely. She spins, but not that freely. All right, let's replace the condenser fan motor. All right. this on, I'm going to make sure that the bolt doesn't go near that, otherwise you'll be kicking yourself. Getting this motor off. All right. Now, let's 
line I saw. This is going to go that way. That way, so this one is going to go. Okay. All right, I doubled up all of the locking nuts here, and I took my grinder and cut out rest of the excess. Now I'm going to flip this over and fix the fan motor blade. All right, now the only thing that's left to do is to connect the capacitor L1, L2, and let me just screw down. The fan blade, don't lose any. tight in there so I'm just going to show you some of the highlights. Let me uh, just crimp on. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Take two. Blue in there. Still didn't work. Huh. What's up with this? What's up with it? I think I'm going to have better luck using the red side. Let's see. Yeah, much better with the red. I use the red side instead of the blue terminal. All right, let me hook these up and I'll show you what I think. All right, take a peek. There is my new capacitor. Got the wiring going to the contactor. That one is, looks a little burnt, so I'm gonna clean that up right now. And then we'll fire her. All right, I got her up and running. <clears throat> Let's do the dollar bill test. See, it's not good. It's not good. However, take a look at this condition of the coil. Now she's crumbling apart. I'm not gonna mess with her. We just bought him or bought her the rest of the season. If I take some water to that, you know, there may be nothing left of it. And they already know they gotta replace it. They were planning on doing it after the season, but of course. <laughs> August 29th, 2021, and fan motor's dead, and here they go, dumping some more money into the system, but I do have some airflow there, very minimal, but she is working, she's condensing, at least I bought them some more time, so it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. All right, so I got them up and running, you know, the goal was, you know, you didn't hear her say on, 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 the, on the camera, but she goes, Mike, I just need another month out of this. Just get me past the holidays. And, you know, next April, May, you know, let's replace both of them. We'll formulate a plan of attack, get them both done. And I'm like, all right, whatever you want. And it's like, I just hate that you have to keep dumping more and more money into this. You know, it's kind of, it's sad. It's upsetting. But got them up and running. Of course, the motor was on the truck. 1075, third horsepower, condenser fan motor. Got her up and running. And we're good to go. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Would you have done anything differently? I don't think so. You gotta get, you gotta replace the motor. <laughs> it is what it is. But make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. We are almost at twenty thousand subscribers, and we're gonna have a twenty thousand subscriber giveaway filled with Milwaukee tools, gear, pipe doctor, and Mikey pipe swag. You're not going to want to miss out. Make sure you're a subscriber and make sure you turn on post notifications to, to figure out and to learn when I post a video on this channel. All right. Be well. God bless. It is 1106 Sunday morning, 
Ju- uh, August 29th. I thought it was July. Oh my God, it's August 29th already. And there's the Atlantic Ocean. There's the beach. The beach clubs there. People go to the beach clubs because they don't want to go to public beaches because they got money. That's right. They spend that money on beach club memberships. But it's all good. We are almost at the end of the quote-unquote summer. And I'm sad. I'm sad, but... Heating season just around the corner. I can't wait to install a whole bunch of locking bars. All right. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.